we really need to talk about what do we mean by an index very quick we added this concept of indexes because of a problem that we have in database systems you see we have regardless of the way you store your data whether it's a relational table of columns and rows or documents or blob storage this data is huge in your table you're going to have millions and millions of rows in your documents you're going to have thousands and thousands of documents in your blob stores you're going to have these uh, content these blob pictures videos whatever contiguous one after the other but searching becomes interesting because how do you find something in this pile of stuff you get a scan one by one these million rows or thousands of documents or, or tens and thousands of these blob images which is obviously not ideal because you have to loop one by one and you have to visit apparently work with millions of rows to find what you're looking for so so smart people found a way to eliminate working with millions of millions of rows and instead work with as few or rows as possible to find exactly what we're looking for the the best solution to search billions of rows is to avoid searching billions of rows right that's that's the best solution so the trick here is to take shortcuts so indexes was well born and there are many many types of uh, indexes that helps you you know uh, find exactly what you're looking for or at least narrow the search not exactly gives you one io or one cost big off one not necessarily but it helps you you know narrow that search that's the goal of an index so uh, regardless of the type of others uh, it a b3 b plus tree you know uh jest tree generalized search tree or bren the goal is just let me work with as let me eliminate things that is absolutely doesn't contain my results right just like concept of a bloom filter so that's an index so i have an index and you search this index so you still need to search but it's a much 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 smaller data structure compared to the millions of rows that you have on your actual data blob store documents right usually we keep we call this area the heap right the heap is a data structure where you just dump everything right it's just a dumping ground index is an optimized uh, data structure that helps you uh, pick what column in your document or in, on your row on your table and exactly index that column and the goal is to gives you give you a, a row set right a set of rows that are candidate that may give you the results after you search the index you get a list of candidate results right could be one or could be more you still in most situations you still need to go to jump to the heap to the big table which contains the actual data and fetch the content because the index will only have a one column or two right the heap will have everything in it so you jump back but the index tells you exactly where to jump and that is the trick here the index tells you hey jump to page 179 and pull row 73 in that page it tells you exactly that right now it depends on the database the database sometimes does an additional filtering upon fetching the row itself because they, uh, there are situations where the row might have been deleted but the index wasn't updated and and we need to see if i'm supposed to see this row or not so whether whether you're in a multi-version concurrency control or not so this is an index it's cool sounds like a good data structure right beautiful let's always add an index why not but uh, careful with that what did we say 
we said that the index gives you a candidate rows so that you go to the table and fetch exactly what you want, right? Cool. Keep that in mind.